Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the error the dictionary attack mitigation is triggered in Windows machine. Now, in Windows, the message the dictionary attack mitigation is triggered appears when the system detects multiple failed attempts to enter the PIN password, which interprets as a potential dictionary attack. Now, that's a method where attackers try many possible passwords or PINs in quick succession to gain unauthorized access. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and reset up your Windows Hello Pin. So you will have to remove and then re-add your pin via settings. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you will have to go ahead and click on accounts. And then on the right hand side, you will have to go ahead and click on sign in option. Under sign in option, you will have to go ahead and expand pin Windows Hello. Now here, you will see an option to remove this sign in option. You will have to go ahead and remove it and then add it again. Once this is done, you may close this window and then try to make an attempt to log into the application and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now, the next method is to go ahead and delete or reset the NGC folder. Now, the NGC folder stores pin related data that is corruption here can cause persistent issues. So to resolve this issue, you will have to take ownership, rename or delete this folder to fix the problem. To do this, you will have to open File Explorer by doing a right click on the Start button and then click on File Explorer. Once you're on the file explorer, you can go to the C drive. Once you're on the C drive, this is how your folders would appear on your computer. Now here, you might want to go ahead and enable hidden files and folders. To do this, you can go ahead and click on the three lines or the see more option and then click on options. Once you have the folder options, you may click on view. Under this hidden files and folders, check the box which says show hidden files and folders and drives. And you may also go ahead and uncheck the box, hide extensions for known file types, and then click on apply and then click on OK. Once you have enabled show hidden files and folders and file extension, you might see some additional files or folders being listed here. Now, once you're on this, you will have to locate Windows folder. You can double click on Windows folder. Under Windows folder, you will have to go ahead and locate service profiles. It would be in alphabetical order. Double click on service profiles to open service profiles folder and then locate for local service. Double click on it to open local service folder. Under local service, you will see app data. Double click on it and then open local and then double click on Microsoft to open Microsoft folder. Under this, you will see a folder which says NGC. All you have to do is you will have to take ownership by doing a right click and then click on show more option and then click on properties. Once you're on the properties, you will have to go ahead and click on security tab and then click on advanced. And here you may go ahead and click on add and click on select principle. Take ownership. You can type the name as administrator or everyone or maybe you can type your username. In case if you don't find or you're not able to get the username, what you could do is you may go ahead and click on advanced and then click on find now. This will help you to identify the exact username which has been listed under this computer. So you can scroll down until you locate the username. Click on OK and then click on check name. OK again and choose the option which says full control. OK, apply and then click on yes continue once you have done that you have done this you have taken ownership of this folder and now you should be able to delete this folder once you delete this folder once you have deleted this folder you may close this window restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next method now the next method is to go ahead and reset the access control list that is ACLS on the NGS folder. To do this, you will have to open command prompt on your computer. So in the search window, you may go ahead and type command. You will see the best match for the command prompt. You can do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to copy and paste the command from the video description and hit enter. 
Once you have executed this command, you may close this window, restart your computer, and then try to set up the pin again by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on settings. Once you're on the settings, you will have to go ahead and click on accounts. And then on the right hand side, you will have to go ahead and click on sign in option and then click on pin windows hello. Now this is where you can go ahead and add the pin again. Once you have set up the pin, you can close the window and then that should definitely fix the problem. Now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.